सो डिस्कशन ऑफ लिटरेचर एमसीक्यूज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट फ्रॉम दी ऑप्शन गिवन बिलो आइडेंटिफाई एंड टोन इन द एक्सप्रैक्ट सो वॉज शी रेस्टलेस डिसेटिस्फाइड स्केयर्ड और हर्ट she was dissatisfied why not restless hmm? what makes you say that she is dissatisfied she didn't have any uh but what makes you say that she is dissatisfied I mean, from the text. Okay, quote the line from there if you can. Yes. Yes, I seem on the surface. I seem to have everything. but in reality i don't have everything means this so that makes us see see or feel that she is dissatisfied okay yeah hurt and scared not at all and not is not even restless because uh, she is not restless about having a friend but yes she wants it's okay so question number 39 select the option which displays an example of having a good time so he is out for a picnic with his friends and they are laughing and singing together so is it an example of having a good time yes b b sentence he is studying hard to the uh, he is studying hard for periodic test the following day to improve his scores so he is studying hard so that's a just a minute okay so b is not at all about having a good time because that's a struggle he is trying to convince his father to purchase the latest latest video games for him so not at all that can never be a uh, having a good time so he just rescued an injured puppy and is tending to its wounds so he is he rescued a, an injured puppy and is tending to its wound so it's not about having a good time okay but what is it compassion right it's compassion okay then question number 40 so a which option was better a you know that was purely having a good time what do we get to know about ann when she says the following i can't bring myself to talk about anything but ordinary everyday things so what do we get to know about ann when she says that i can't bring myself to talk about anything but ordinary everyday things so first you try to get its meaning in your own words what does it simply means i can't bring myself to talk about anything but ordinary things she can't okay anyone else okay hmm hmm it's okay so she can't talk about herself but she starts talking about the mundane things ordinary things so she is proud of her ways no idea she is struggling to strike conversations no she is unsure of her thoughts no she is unable to have a satisfying conversation 
Yes. What what makes you have a satisfying conversation, children? Then, Nana, what makes one have a satisfying conversation? When we are. So when you're talking to me, do you think it's a very satisfying conversation? And when I leave, and when you talk to Kushi, what will happen then? Ah. Huh. No, when you're talking with me, then you are trying your level best to get an approval nod from me, but you are not true to where to your own. so but when you you are talking to somebody with whom you can share your own thoughts your feelings your emotions then you are very comfortable so that happens to be a satisfying talk so the point is that she is not able to have a satisfying talk because she is not able to open her heart out with her with anyone she is not able to talk to anyone about her feelings about her personal self okay so that might not be true with everybody yes read the given extract to attempt the questions that follow so money is external he is learning well behind his desperate eyes the epistemology of loss how to stand up knowing that every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up the ball poem the poet says money is external what does he mean by this so options are money helps us purchase materials that make life worth living or second option money prompts okay money promotes materialism and hunger for power among youngsters money only impacts a pers pers uh, person's external environment money buys materialistic things and can be earned again when lost last option why not first one money helps us purchase materialistic things that make life worth living hmm yes it is not contextual yes second money promotes materialism and hunger for power among youngsters that is also not contextual that is true but not contextual money only impacts a person's external environment not true also because sometimes money gives you satisfaction also so not exactly true fourth money buys materialistic things and can be earned again when lost very nice it is as per the yeah what does the boy learn by losing the ball according to the extract so what does the boy learn by losing the ball loss is unavoidable truth of life or materials objects can be replaced or money buys happiness losses in life can be prevented with care no life continues despite losses so which options are correct a 1 2 and 5 yes so first second and fifth options are correct yes the boy is learning how to stand up so this means that he is learning to be dash in the face of difficulties so the meaning of how to stand up is being patient resi uh, resilient defensive or judgmental uh, what is patience patience is when you tolerate resilience is when you go on and on okay your ability to be persistent or consistent in efforts so resilience is there how to stand up means when you fall when you are able to stand up again and continue the same thing that is resilience so b option is correct for this so how to stand up means to be resilient and to be resilient means to be persistent or consistent or to be the, to have the ability to go on and on despite the failures which option lists who is speaking these lines an observer boy's parent the ball uh, the ball salesman a friend observe according to the poet whom do you 
from whom do we mostly learn about loss yes experiences elders experiences books and teachers so we learn maximum from the experiences why so why do we learn maximum from experience Mm -hmm. yeah that is very true because it's a human nature lectures we don't listen very with interest you know when somebody tells us something when especially parents or teachers then we uh, just give it a hmm? we do, we don't mind it we don't even bother for it because we think it's a lecture lecture and uh, when we read something from the books we find it very impractical okay but when we when the same thing happens in uh, real life then we say oh my god then we stop doing that which made us fall so experience is the best teacher if everybody starts learning from others then nobody will fail okay because everybody experiences the same problems okay for example what i faced when i was 15 years old if i will tell my children you or my children at home then what will happen you people will never have those problems in your life if you learn from my experience but because it's a human nature otherwise everything would be perfect in life okay so it's uh, maybe god made everybody everyone's mind like that otherwise the problems are universal same what problems used to be about 50 years ago same are there today maybe the format has changed right so experience is the best teacher so read the given extract to attempt the questions that follow so i followed casually hello again he said i gave him my most appealing smile i want to work for you i said but i can't pay you i thought that over for a minute perhaps i had misjudged my man i asked can you feed me can you cook i can i lied again if you can cook then maybe i can feed you he took me to his room over the uh, jumna sweet shop and told me i could sleep on the balcony but the meal i cooked that night must have been terrible because anil gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off but i just hung around smiling in my most appealing way and he doesn't and he couldn't help laughing what do you mean by and he couldn't couldn't help laughing he could he couldn't help laughing means he laughed he could not stop himself from laughing okay first question 46th question i mean even though hari singh followed anil casually it was a or an dash it was a careless it was a careless section or a staged move or unusual decision or a bold step why staged move hmm? it was a plan yes staged move means something which it is done intentionally is that clear it was a staged move from the following options identify hari singh's intention behind the appealing smile deceit what is deceit deceit means to betray or to cheat somebody what's the meaning of deceit to cheat somebody so was he cheating him yes that's not wrong it's it's not totally wrong option i i maybe it's a correct answer but you people are saying c because you might have seen the e you know <laughs> okay let's see second option is harm so what was his intention was it to harm him yes he wanted to cheat him to harm him okay na hatred you are saying hate c option correct okay a okay so c is totally wrong hatred no jealousy also no so out of a and b which one is better a because he wanted to deceive him uh, financially so harm is when you can you can harm somebody physically also so here a is better 
than B. Select the option listing Anil's characteristics as revealed in the extract. Unassuming, kind, determined, naive, humorous. One, two, and? Okay, so tell me the meanings now first. What is unassuming? Bhavnesh. In one word. Unassuming. No, not mysterious. Not being judgmental, yes. When you are not able to judge anyone, and one should be unassuming. You know, we should be unassuming in, uh, you know, nature. And this man was, so he was unassuming because he was not judgment, judge, he was not judgmental in approach. Kind, you know, he was uh, kind or not, that's a different issue, but kind meanings, you know. Then determined, it's not a matter of determination here. So naive, strange. What is naive? Hmm? Innocent. Okay. Strangely innocent. Humorous. Was he humorous? We didn't find him very humorous. So the quality is one, an unassuming, two kind, and third, naive. Yes. So C option is correct. Now select the most appropriate option based on one, two, and based on one and two. Anir gave his meal to a stray dog. Then Hari Singh did not know how to cook. So two is true, one is false. No. Two is a result of one. Yes. Two is the cause for one. Two is the cause for one that, yes. He gave the food to him because he did not know cooking. Two is a result of one. No. So C option is better. So two is false and one, that is also. So C is correct, right? Now 50th question. The phrase hung around suggests that Hari Singh continued to linger. Hung around means to keep on lingering around. When you keep on being there, when you don't leave that place, okay? Don't keep hanging, uh, hanging around the school after the full break. But many boys do. You know, yesterday one boy had put put his status. I forgot the name. With all the boys all taking rounds, you know, very strange. I wanted to talk talk to his parents. And next time he'll block me. You know? Though I rarely see the status, very rarely, because I, I never ever remember to open up the status column. And by chance that was there and he was taking rounds of the school. And many, the big gang was there. You, know? you were also there? No? You were there? Hmm? Yeah? Achha. So he wanted, wants to tell me he was not there. So very bad, those who were there yesterday, uh, so those who were there yesterday taking the round of the school on bikes and activas, that is a proof. I have saved that video, listen, and if that video goes to the police, you people might be, yes, you people cannot have the license of the bike yet, not even the learner's license. Am I right? No? For bike, at the age of 15 or 16. Ah, these bikes might not be of 80 cc. So children, you people, uh, your all videos are with me. Next time if you do something like this around the school, then you will see it. All your names I have noted and given to principal. I have shown that video to principal now also. So those who were there yesterday, okay, their faces, when you people were enjoying that uh, e eateries, your masks were down, I could write your names. Please be careful. You people don't come to school to have fun like that. Have some sense. 
अदरवाइज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट थर्ड वेव है ना बट दिस इज ओके वी कैन नॉट कम टू स्कूल रेगुलरली बिकॉज कोविड इज देयर वेरी नाइस आई होप योर पेरेंट्स माइट हैव ऑल्सो सीन योर स्टेटस इफ नोट दैन शो इफ नो दैन शो द स्टेटस टू योर पेरेंट्स ऑल्सो Shame on you, people. Those who were doing that thing. I would like to ask their parents, like, why have they given the bikes to their children? I'll be asking them. So next is praise uh, attempt the following. So hanging around made us made me remember that. So Lanko is a dash when he says. that's what they say no one dies of hunger so lanko is doubtful stressed confused or dismissive what's the meaning of dismissive hmm lanko is a dash that's what they say no one dies of hunger what is dismissive anji careless about what is dismiss to dismiss something to suspend something to let something go you know when some student is dismissed for doing uh, illegal things around the school okay you know that is a dismiss so when you are dismissive in your approach it means you let the things go on go ignore or so that's what they say no one dies of hunger okay which option correctly replaces the underlined phrase uh in the give in the given line from fire and ice i hold with those who favor fire so a option is am so i am as experienced as or i am i strongly disagree with or i have the same opinion as or i habitually avoid yeah i hold with those i hold with those means to uh yes to agree with somebody you know in nutshell so b option is wrong because it should have been agree so i have the same opinion as the ones so i have the same opinion which opinion currently sorry correctly replaces the this we have done the purpose of treatment given to the young seagull by his parents was to teach him a lesson about the importance of food no inculcate obedience towards him no let him overcome his fear improve his relationship with his siblings no so c option is right so they wanted that he should overcome his fear so they became very strict with them peggy often gave a nudge to one of her friends and when she spoke to bonda in the school this meant that she wanted her friend to dash so peggy often gave a nudge to one of her friends when she spoke to bonda in the school yard so this meant that she wanted her friend to dash first option stop talking to bonda and move on no observe and partake in the joke on wanda what's the meaning of partake ah uh, to be a part of something to share okay to share something observe and share the situation in which they were joking with wanda so ignore was not the correct option interrupt is also not correct so observe and partake in the joke of wanda so in the poem dust of snow which negative symbols have been used to create a positive effect so hemlock tree and crow yes or no bye same is with yes so she repeat the whole answer and come here come here and speak i won't remove the mic but your voice will do yes children listen 
like which negative symbols have been used to create a positive effect hmm. Words. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Thank you, Kushi. Well done. So Mandela refers to liberty as newborn because it dash because it was dependent on others for growth and guidance. No. So it had recently been attained with lots of struggle. Yes. Made people experience infant-like excitement. Arrived unexpectedly. No. Freedom doesn't come come like that. In the poem, a tiger in the zoo. What does a tiger quiet tiger's quiet rage or quiet rage indicate? So, what kind of a word is it? Quiet rage. If we talk about the poetic device, huh? What's the meaning of rage? What is quiet? So, what what's the poetic device in these two words? Yes, yes. It starts with yes. It is oxymoron. O x y m o r o n because two opposite words have been put together to convey one meaning. They are usually humorous. You say no. They happen to be very serious. Okay, I that day I gave you one example. Rootless weeds. There is a poem where the children have been compared to rootless weeds. Okay, the children who are unwanted and they are neglected by the society. So this is not humorous, right? They are usually ironic. The oxymorons are usually ironic in tone, sad in tone, and many humorous oxymorons are also there, right? And the, even this quiet rage, it's not humorous. Even this is ironic in nature. So it indicates that the tiger's anger is forgotten, provoked, suppressed, or opposed, suppressed. Okay, it's an irony that uh, tiger, which is known for its uh, uh, ferociousness and uh, uh, strength and courage, that very uh, you know animals, this these whole things are suppressed. It's ironic. Identify the option that aptly describes Griffin. Greedy yet kind, not at all. is not at all kind or is he proud and honorable no so considerate and selfless not at all brilliant but lawless yes so no use of brilliance when you are lawless you know this griffin was so intelligent he i guess um, what he did no one has been able to do it yet but what he what happened to him in the end Have you read this novel, The Invisible Man? Read it. I want to uh, tell you the ending of the novel because otherwise the whole mystery will be exposed. So it's a tragic novel, basically, tragic novel. So that might have been an indication, like what would happen to this hero? This hero will die in the end. His own genius will be the reason of his death. because he will not be using his genius in the in the right direction okay when you work for the nation then you become abdul kalam and you work against the nation when you work against ethics then you become griffin read it okay read the story read this novel when you will be free after exams so anil's carelessness made stealing from him dash for harising uninteresting difficult systematic predictable uninteresting okay yeah uninteresting difficult not at all systematic no so predictable also so a is okay so what does the exclamation this is the, the trunk of surgery by mrs pumphrey mean so the surgery hmm the surgery was successful no the mistress could take back her pet no the doctor was a great veteran no the planned venture was fruitful so congratulations we have finished the sample paper
hundred percent, right? So now you can solve any paper with hundred percent of success because you might have got the technique to decode the answers, right? Yes, Sharon. Anyone from here, online students? Any doubt? Any doubt here? Yes, any doubt? <laughs> 